Good afternoon, members of the press. Thank you for joining us this afternoon, where we're going to receive an update on the investigation of that sudden death which took place two weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken. Before we do that, I want to preface this press conference by indicating that at no time did the Bermuda police say foul play was ruled out in this matter. When the initial statement went out, it was indicated that foul play is not being considered at this time. However, we were awaiting the outcome of an anticipated autopsy. So uh, just to clarify that, the BPS did not in, at any point indicate that foul play was ruled out. We said that we were waiting on the outcome of an autopsy before determining the cause of death. That notwithstanding, this afternoon we're going to be hearing or the update is going to be provided by Detective Inspector Jason Smith and uh, Detective Constable Odessa Phillip. Approximately 3 p.m. on Saturday, the 11th of June, 2022, the Bermuda Police Service received a report of an unresponsive male that was found inside of a residence off of Victoria Street in the city of Hamilton. Police officers attended to that location where they discovered the lifeless body of a male inside of his residence. Officers made some initial assessments and summons the assistance of the on call doctor who certified his death shortly after their arrival. In particular, that scene was preserved and it was processed, looking for forensic evidence at the time, and there was nothing inside of the scene that was untoward or led the officers to believe that something suspicious had happened inside of that particular residence. Subsequent to the discovery of the male's body, the Bermuda Police Service began to receive several reports from members of our community who expressed concerns about the victim that was found and expressed some concerns about some of the circumstances that might have led to his death. As a result of the community support and the community speaking, your police service listened and we launched an investigation into the circumstances surrounding the death of the man that was found. As has been reported, the deceased man has been identified as Keith Gordon, who is a very familiar and popular uh, person within our community, particularly the city of Hamilton. Subsequent to the community support and information received and the investigation that was launched, the Bermuda Police Service on Wednesday, the 15th of uh, June, arrested a man who was a person of interest at that time and questioned him in relation to the circumstances surrounding the death of Mr. Gordon. Subsequent to that particular line of inquiry, and as a result of a post-mortem examination that was conducted by an overseas forensic expert, we now can confirm and report that the investigation to the circumstances surrounding the death of Keith Gordon is now a murder investigation. A man has been taken into custody, and he is assisting the police with our inquiries and at the moment, there is a file that is being prepared for review by the Department of Public Prosecutions, who at the appropriate time will make a decision on the way forward. The purpose of this press appeal today is to continue our appeal that has been made in previous media reports, looking for assistance from the public who can assist us in tracing the steps of Mr. Gordon in and around the time of 8 p.m. on Friday the 10th of June up until the discovery of his body at about 3 p.m. on the 11th of June. We are aware that from our investigations that there was an altercation that took place just in the parking lot of the ex-artillery on Victoria Street, which is almost directly across 
from the residence where Mr. Gordon's body was found. We do believe, based on our investigations, that there were a number of persons who witnessed that altercation and had heard, in particular, a argument that was taking place at the time. We are appealing for you today to come forward to assist us in helping us to bring closure to the family of Mr. Gordon, as well as helping us to piece together the pieces of this particular puzzle. A family liaison officer has been appointed to assist in this investigation and is in liaising with the family of Mr. Gordon. And on behalf of the Bermuda Police Service, we do extend our sincere condolences to his family, who at this difficult time has had to deal with such tragedy. Any assistance that you can provide would be greatly appreciated. And at this time, I will entertain any questions that you might have. So, good afternoon and thanks. Um, is there anything that you can um, elaborate on in the circumstances of the altercation leading up to it? Or were there, can you say if there were blows exchanged? And in particular, is there any um, CCTV from the area that you can say has been assistance to police? What I would say is that as to the, uh, the nature of the assault, we don't want to go into mm -hmm. that at this point in time. Um, we do have some CCTV footage that we are reviewing that is assisting us. Um, but again, we know that there are several establishments within the area, and so if there is any other establishments, we have spoken to some, but if there are any others that have captured what happened, please make contact with us. In fact, we do know that it's quite common for people to film these incidents on their uh, mobile phones, and so if you filmed it, we would also be interested in speaking with you. Can you see if Mr. Gordon um, lived alone? To our understanding, yes. And he had lived there for some time at this residence, can you say, or had he recently? Yeah, I think we, it is a family residence that, okay. that, that he lived. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Detective Inspector. Um, the <clears throat> gentleman who was brought in for questioning to help in the investigation, um, can you uh, reveal the age of that individual? He is in his late 20s. So um, a lot younger than Mr. Gordon. Yes. Okay. Um, in terms of uh, witnesses, uh, have has anybody else uh, reached out to give further information uh, since it was a member of the public who assisted um, with, you know, this investigation? Yes. And so, as I said earlier, that you know, we thank the public for their response because it is. At the um, response from the public and the information and the intelligence that we were receiving that caused us to look deeper into this and so we have gotten some public support and we are grateful but we know that there are others who were present uh, we know that there were persons who were driving by um, on their bike and driving their car at the time that the altercation was taking place and so if you saw that and if you can assist us, we would be greatly appreciative. Uh, the gentleman, does he remain in custody, did you say? At the moment, he is in police custody, yes. And as I said before, uh, pending the review of, of the file by the Director of Public Prosecutions, we should be able to have some clarity on where we go from here. Mr. Smith, at what point was the, and what day did Mr. Gordon's death investigation officially become a murder investigation by the Bermuda Police Service? So the investigation uh, took a particular different turn on Monday, uh, the, the uh, 13th of June, and it was as a result of the post-mortem examination uh, that the circumstances changed and the investigation became a murder investigation. So that would have been early part of this week. So you said Mr. Mr. Gordon's body was found at around 3 p.m. on June 11th? Yes. Are you at liberty to say approximately how long he, ha he had been deceased before his body was, was uncovered? No, I cannot answer that question. But again, this is the purpose of the appeal, that anyone who can trace his movements uh, from about 8 p.m. on Friday the 10th until about 3 p.m. on Saturday when his body was found, anywhere in between that, that's critical to our lines of inquiry, and we welcome the public's further assistance in trying to establish 
those circumstances. Yeah, thank you very much. Any other questions, members of the media? Yes, so if you have any information in relation to the circumstances surrounding the death of Mr. Gordon, uh, I would actually you can contact me on 717-0864, the Senior Investigating Officer, Detective Odessa Phillips, on 717-2193, and of course there's the Crime Stoppers of 800-8477. Can you confirm whether a toxicology uh, report was part of the autopsy? Those are those are all part of the lines of inquiry that we are pursuing, and we will await those results. Thank you. Okay, members of the media, thank you for attending this afternoon. We appreciate your participation, and we look forward to seeing your reports.